think it's time to blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. And in today's video, we are going to be using the Heart of Inmost Light. Do you see where I'm going with this already? Because you should. If you guys don't know what this does, let's explain it really quickly. Overflowing Light. Using an ability, grenade, melee, or barricade empowers the other two abilities. Empowered means abilities have faster regen, melees and grenades do more damage, and barricades have more hit points. So, this is a really, really cool setup to be using. Um, I actually have finally realized, like at this exact moment reading the perk, why I was actually having a problem during my gameplay where I was really confused. I was throwing grenades at people to get empowered and then throwing more grenades and expecting that to be a one shot. But as you can see, the perk here clearly states it empowers the other two abilities. So basically what you want to be doing is popping a wall or meleeing someone and that makes your grenade a guaranteed one hit kill. So in the gameplay, you know, I'm this live commentary gameplay. I think there are certain parts of the video where I, you know, I'm, you know, clearly confused as to why my grenades were not, you know, always one hitting. And the reason is obviously I was using the energetic buff for the grenades. So empowered is procced by throwing a grenade, right? But what that does is it gives your melee more damage. So if you proc empowered with a melee or class ability, then your sticky grenades are guaranteed one hit. But if you don't proc it with the other abilities and you're only procking empowered with your grenade, it's not actually going to be doing anything for your grenade. So I kind of had that confused, but we had a really good gameplay in spite of this confusion on uh, Pantheon. And we had a crazy clutch on Endless Veil, vale, where I actually switched to uh, Middle Tree Sunbreaker for a little bit. And I was, you know, stacking Roaring Flames with the Heart of Inmost Light. And obviously with the cooldown, we have infinite grenades. I've got to say the uh, Ash and Wake setup was way more fun, personally, than uh, the Heart of Inmost Light. But it was still it was still pretty enjoyable. The thing is with this is like the you know the ability cooldown thing, it kind of works and doesn't work with this setup. The reason why is as I just said now, the uh, empowered only works for your grenade when using your other abilities. So unless you have like loads of paragon mods and I have zero, um, you know, you could get your wall back really quickly. But the cooldown basically isn't doing much for you here in the sense of you know giving you one hit sticky nades because you need either your class ability or your melee ability to get the one hit nades. So I was thinking maybe I could do infinite class ability and that would give me, you know, non-stop one hit kill sticky nades. But then obviously your cooldown is regular and not going to be having infinite grenades. So the setup basically worked really well on middle tree sentinel and, you know, just control demolitioning the shit out of people. So that's basically what we ended up doing. The infinite sticky grenade build guys. Not necessarily infinite one hits, but the infinite sticky grenade build. This is what you got to do. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay that you're seeing, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Don't be lost. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. Zone A lost. Fought like a titan of the first pillar. Zone B, Captain. You have advantage. Two for one. Zone C lost.
Zone A captured. You have zone advantage. With you on the field, there isn't a border I could not push, Titan. Zone advantage is yours. <laughs> Alright, we're empowered. Here we go. Need to make sure I land my grenade. Five minutes. Didn't kill. Two for one. I <laughs> envy your strength, Titan. Three <laughs> opponents down. It may not have killed, but Zone the control demolition captured. is. That's a power play. But... Yeah, that guy died straight away. Like, that doesn't happen every time. Maybe he was just too slow to avoid the blast. That could be what it was. Zone A captured. Fire team that fights together stays together. You're breaking them. Double down. Fought like a titan of the first pillar. Early spawning. I have such shit luck with spawns, honestly. Zone C captured. That's a power play. You took them, now hold them. Three minutes. You're winning. Stay strong. I can't believe <laughs> what I'm seeing. Zone A captured. That's a power play. You took them. Now <laughs> hold them. You know, it doesn't help just giving them that one bullet in the back, you know, to seal the deal. Alright. Should be so Yeah. Zone C lost. I think my buff's gonna run out in a second. But we can just close the game out anyway. And then at the end of this game, I'm gonna show you a clip I had on a uh, Sunbreaker. It was like a crazy overtime clutch with the uh, fusion grenades. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Brother, the shotgun boy. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I could not ask for a better. Victory. One last nade before the game ends. But the Jotun boy. Oh no, my buff ran out. Never mind. Fuck. All right, we're gonna end with a crazy overtime clutch that I need you guys to see. So hope you guys enjoyed that, and then I hope you enjoyed the whole video, so you leave a like, and all of that shit. Much love, guys. Your enemy can't kill if they're dead. <laughs> Fantastic work. 30 seconds remaining. I can feel that in my phone. This is it. Overtime. Let's do this. You gained the lead. Strength in numbers, Guardian. Excellent. Holy you. fuck. You're scaring them. They'll never want to match with you again. <laughs> Victory is all I ask. Good. Holy shit.